give me one moment. I'm here. No worries. No worries. Someone someone followed. Who was that? Corbet, what's up, Corbet? Thanks for the follow, man. Uh, how many viewers are we at right now? Eight. Habana, thank you for the follow. All right, I'm kind of gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this two ways. Uh, I've got a I've got a stream an egg game at nine, and I've got a setup for that, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'm gonna do offense and defense, or at least try to. You can see the tiers, pretty self-explanatory, I think. Um, nothing too terribly toxic, except for maybe row four here. We're gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna do this in bunches just for the, the in the interest of time. Obviously, you know, I'm in the top tier. A um, lot of lot of traditional Star Wars anti re selfie. I would put them up there as well. And I did not separate these by offense defense, so I'm kind of having to look through here. I'm going to turn down my music a touch on my end. Uh, I'm going to put Space Tiger up here. And again, this is offense first. He He's kind of confusing because he, he played minors a few seasons back before the merger. And had a hard time with it. Fell down to Novice. Performed okay in Novice. But really, I mean, had a heck of a season last season. Um, so I'm comfortable putting him in that top tier. Stop scrolling down. Bro, I gotta select names here for all of you who are unable to see. When I scroll, I will uncrop it so that maybe you can see. Is that still visible? Hmm, maybe. If I go down and then crop again. There we go. That should work. Then, got to put Crossover in here, too. Crossover is interesting. Hasn't played in a few seasons, I don't think. Has always dominated the, the novice level. And then, kind of in those upper tiers, minors, majors, has had kind of mixed results. Um, I think I value him high enough to keep him up in that top tier. I think... I don't know if the team situation was unlucky or what, but hey, he's going to dominate this league. There's no doubt in my mind, so I'll keep him top tier there. Um, flaccid trip. We're going to start getting into the kind of the 18 tier. These will be your, your not elite players this season, I think, but good, solid to good. You know, maybe not a first, first ball, but you know, potentially top 10 caps, top 10 hold, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe top 15. So, uh, well, there's 14 teams, right? So, say top 14. So, I, I would put Flaccid Trip into that tier. Um, uh, 
happened really? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I'd say uh, Waluigi, Wario, Dopus PR, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I see Jir in that tier as well. Tag Prof. I'm actually going to move Tag Prof up to the top tier. I think he's earned that. Uh, if I can find Vader, I will put him in the top tier, no doubt. There we go. Wass is an interesting one, and I I really don't know what position he's going to play. For for the purpose of this stream, I'm going to assume he's playing offense. I mean, I'm biased towards him because we played minors together. Gosh, I don't know what season that was, but we made it to the... I want to say the Foci 4 before losing. It was me, Sadness, Wassa, Amy. I played defense with Amy. And Wassa, not really a, a huge statistical guy on that team, but was kind of like the the unsung hero, the glue, did all the little things pretty well. Uh, clutch OD moments, that sort of thing. So, I think I'm... <laughs> statistically, it doesn't... It's not justified, but for homerism and... Intangibles. I think he goes top there. I do have a lot of repeats on here, don't I? I think Raja... I'm going to put him onto the top tier here. Played Novice last season, I want to say. Um, had a couple of sub opportunities last season, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, had a really good season in Novice. I've seen him play. I like, I like it a lot like what I've seen from him a lot, so gonna put him into that second tier. I guess I'll put Drufa in there too. Uh, always have the Dallas pain to consider. Um, very good, if I'm not mistaken, if I can find Drufa on here. Uh, um, yeah, 25 Dallas ping, so just mechanically always capable of outplaying people. So I, I would put Drufa up there. A cell is another interesting one. Um, and again, I don't know what position he's going to play this season. I really think he can play both pretty well. Uh, I'm assuming he's offense again just for this. And again, he was one of those guys, not huge statistically, but gosh, I played him a couple seasons back in playoffs, and he was just a one-man wrecking crew kind of all over the field. Just super slippery. Um, and and that was in the old minor, so I guess if I'm holding true to form here, I need to put him up there, don't I? Uh, Randy Bobandy. I think we can just start to fill out some of the B-team selections here. Victor, I'd say he's good enough for the a -team tier. Um, had a couple of really nice plays. I streamed a series between him, his team, and I want to say it was Big Bad Ball's team last season. And Victor was just absolutely huge uh, throughout the series. So I like what I've seen from him as of late. Deptonic, I could see on the A-team tier. And I think we start getting into the defenders a little bit. Uh, Corbe is interesting too. Won a Mooper Ball previously. Had a couple of like up, down, up, down, up, down seasons in minors. Um, I think he's, again, with just the Mooper Ball to his name, I think it's, I'll check his Dallas ping real quick. I think it's pretty good. Oh, it's actually 80 yikes. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep them up here, though. And if you guys have been reading the Discord, you know I think that offense is, and I think it's fairly obvious if you're looking at the board, huge offense gap. I think the talent there and the both quantity and the quality of the offense names you're going to be able to find value a lot better than you're going to be able to find value in the defense, I think. And you can kind of see it bearing out in how I'm doing these tiers. A lot of options there at the top. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 who I think could be first balls on any team, uh, no doubt. 
and then the the ones below him, I mean, had great seasons for the most part in minors last season. Um, so really interesting. Crowman is overstricted, and I'll stick him in this A team tier now. So we'll stick him in the A team tier. He has had a huge hiatus. Um, last time I saw him, I think he was playing defense to win a Nooper in season 14. So a position switch, I think. I played with him in TPM a few nights ago. Looks like he's still kind of got the game IQ. I don't know about the mechanics. Um, and I didn't get to see him play O. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to shake out. But I think he's smart enough to at least be a, a good second tier ball. Uh, Wayne's will put on that level. PK. And PK had a great season last season, right? But I just never believed in him. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I didn't. <laughs> Would he... <sighs> he did kind of prove me wrong last season, right? God, but is he like so? If he gets drafted as a first offender, which is kind of what we're saying here between these two tiers, is he that guy? I don't think so, right? Like, because we're we're like right around 14 between these first and second tiers. So if PK's that 14th first offender, is that good enough? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, but maybe maybe it is. Uh, beast mode, where are you? I think we know where Beast Mode goes. <laughs> um, and then now we get into the rookies. Who I, as far as I know, didn't get any playing time last season. Or... Um, didn't get any playing time or was not... Or didn't get significant play time. So I'm going to put Kelvin in a promising rookies tier. Uh, I think I watched him during the Brooper. Just... Really, really tremendous. Um, really liked what I saw out of him. And then I think Tinder Fallow plays oh, right. It feels kind of toxic to put him there, right? But he had just an atrocious season last season. They, I think they dropped him. Uh, and picked up first slime in his stead, if I'm not mistaken. But really, I mean, it's all sick of the B team tier because it's true. Um, honestly, there aren't any truly atrocious offenders on the board, I don't think. Um, and if I'm reading this correctly, oh, Omnivore, I think we put on that B team tier too. Am I missing Rig? I think B team just because he's overstricted. I don't know how good he is with the flag. I think everyone else is a defender. At least for the purpose of this. Or Nas is an offender, right? Um, Logi, I'm assuming he plays D. He could really play either. Uh, he's, I think he's one of like a ball of the season on both positions in B team. So, I think he would. And again, he was one. It's kind of like Wasa, one of those glue guys on the team last season. Statistically, not great. But I really like what he brought to our team last season. Um, but again, is he going to be your one of your top 14 players? Probably not, right? So, um, And then I think Chotzi and da uh, Dale are my two great unknowns. Them along with Stumbino. So I think, I'm assuming they all play defense. I don't think I have anyone... And again, I don't really think we have any like super trash offenders in this draft. So I'm gonna Zion said he's playing defense. I don't know if he's restricted. I'm gonna for this. I'm gonna assume he plays D. I think. Uh, so that'll be the final rankings here. And then I saw Colmo asked why I didn't rank him. I only went so far down the big board. I picked up a couple. Um, below the cutoff, just numbers-wise, based on if they, I thought they had a chance of getting drafted. Just because you're not on here, 
Obviously, it doesn't mean you won't get drafted, but just what I think. I'm going to save this screenshot, or we'll reset, get into the defense, but feast your eyes. And again, I'm going to re reiterate, a lot of offense depth here. Um, I know we'll need 28 offenders, so this list is not really complete. We're probably at like 21, maybe. Something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34, 15, 16. I'd say that's 27, so we're close. 28 with Kelvin. So I'm actually kind of dead on. Uh, so I'm going to reset this. We are going to go into the defense now. Um, bit bad. I think we can say if we put in that top tier. Really sucks that he's captaining for everyone else. Because elite defense, top defense, uh, at a premium in this draft. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and some of these are hard because you're going to have offenders switching to defense. Jazz is one example. I've got no clue what she's like on defense. What I do know, she was a Mooper Ball winning offender last season. So she's probably passable at defense. Again, the, so the question is then, if you have 14 or so people in these top two tiers, is she one of those 14? In this draft, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you. The Great Unknown? Oh, that's actually a good suggestion. I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll put Jazz in the Great Unknown. But again, just the defense is so... It's so thin. And you're going to have people switching, no doubt. I mean, a cell could even play defense, right? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say he's not. Dingbat, obviously, in that top tier. Another Mooper winner. God, he's so good. Um, and here come my other great unknowns. We'll put Chotzi and Dalek in here. I doubt I'm saying that right. Conman had a decent season. Um, on Bold's team last season. He was the prelim pick. I don't know his stats off the top of my head. Um, if I can find them, maybe we can find out. An 81 d so again, solid. Um, good enough for that second tier, no doubt. And he's going to be drafted like he's in that tier too, right? Adarsh is on defense. And... Kind of similar situation to Jazz. I'm pretty sure Adars has played D before. But again, I've got no clue. Um, and Adars on offense is just so volatile. I I mean, I, re I really don't know. I think I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Because again, he's going to get drafted like it. I would think. I'm tempted to put Leia on this top tier, to be honest with you. I'm going to put her on B for now. And again, RKT kind of bumping up a tier was that was that second defender last season. Now, just as a result of, of the draft, I think, is going to shift up some in Pryo. Um, Chucky. I never really... Th well, that's not true. Didn't, uh, didn't know a ton about Chucky because he always played for the Western teams in NLTP. And then he had a good statistical season on Jack and the Blots this past season along with Blob. I wonder how much of that was due to Blob. I know the few times I remember playing against him, um, I've never been terribly impressed, but always puts up pretty decent stats. So he might be he might belong to this top tier. Uh, he'll probably get drafted like it. I'm going to keep him down here for now. Nipple's obviously A tier. Uh, carried by Joy or not. Just a fantastic defender. Uh, we got bodied by them in playoffs in seven games. We were up 3-1. And then lost that series. Uh, and Nipple, though not the best player on the team, I think... Easily, easily one of the best defenders this season. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, Jake, I thought I had you. Because you're up on the board. 
I might not have you. <laughs> Jake, I was going to put you, if it's any consolation, uh, you would have been one of the great unknowns. So, maybe maybe in these top tiers, I'm not sure. I haven't seen you play. So, unlucky, I guess. Uh, Bergie, I can put in that top tier, was really excellent. I thought he was horrible last season, pre-draft, pre, uh, pre-reg one, and then we scrimmed him. Uh, and he was just shutting our team down left and right. I, I mean, I thought he was really good. So, Herb is an interesting one, too. I don't know what his situation is. Um, but has played majors at a majors level in the past. Has dominated the lower leads in the past. His last couple outings haven't been, like, super great statistically. But I think he has it in him to be one of the top defenders this season. So we'll keep him up there. I think we can put Abana. We can put Jarvis there. Goat is another interesting one. I'm going to keep him on B for now. I really liked what Gospel of Jude did last season. Um, almost spurred. Smalley's team to the playoffs. They were kind of having trouble finding the right fourth ball for the team. They pick up Gospel of Juke. Uh, Mr. Awesome comes back from injury. And they came, I think they came within one point of a playoff spot. So I really liked how he kind of brought stability to that team. Um, I'm going to move him down, actually. But I think he's right on that fringe. Borges was a decent player last season, no doubt. Poet, I like Poet. I like his defense less. Uh, usually pretty good getting power-ups, though, so I guess that's a positive for him. Black Magic is another interesting one. I think formerly known as Blackberry. And then a few names before that. I think probably an underrated defense option. I'm going to keep her on B team. I believe it's her um, on this B team tier. But Perp, we can sit there. I get, I'm get. i getting follows, so thank you to all of you who are following. Oh, Black Magic is Linux. Okay. I thought it was Tanador. I'll keep, I'll keep Linux there. Ghost, I think similar. And again, there's really no. I, I don't know what position Red Bull is playing. I played him in attorney like two nights ago. He's fantastic. Uh, MLS, thanks for the follow. Jazz, thanks for the follow. Adamania, thanks for the follow. Uh, Raja, thanks for the follow. Wasa, thanks for the follow. Colmo, Habana, thank you all. Red Bull's on O. Well, he's playing D against me in the tourney, I'm pretty sure, so. Stumbino is another one. Put him in the problems. I assume he, I assume he's playing D. I've got no idea. I uh, think he could be pretty good this season. Scorch will add into that category as well. And again, there's really not a player... That I would put in that trash kind of level. I just think the quality. Like if we really wanted. To, if I really thought offense was better. Like I would do this. You know what I mean? I would go. But the way I named the tiers. It just doesn't work. But like. Mm, like if I wanted to follow kind of what I said, I would move these these second tiers down a little bit. Right? And that would kind of reflect the, the, the difference I feel between O and D in this draft. Um, but we're not going to do that. Because I, I really don't want to be rude and put anyone in that, in that fourth tier. And really, I don't think any of them deserve it. Like, there will be some zero TC pits this draft, no doubt. Um... They're all worth some form of coins. They're all decent players, right? So, anyways, uh, I'm sure 
Zion, I said he's playing D, right? I've got no idea. So I'll put him here. I've not seen him play defense before. And I think that's gonna do it. Subglacious, another unknown. I think I got it one, right? Uh, thank you for the anonymous gifter. You gotta think Stambino's going minors. Um, he's... I know no one cares about Egg Ball, but he's starting on one of the better Egg Ball teams this season. It's clear that he wants to put the time in. I think he'll be good. Um, he's got he's got the connections to the uh, the elites, right? So he'll have some people to coach him up if he wants it. So I think some you know, goes minors. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, I think he'd be pretty freaking good too. So all right, I'm gonna end it at that so I can prep for my egg ball stream. Uh, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Uh, I tried to grab as many off the board as I could up to a certain point. And again, just I know I've said it, but this is gonna be really interesting to see how captains approach approach the draft, right? Because someone said it in chat, all of the just about all of these top defense pits are prelims or they're captains. And so now, what do you do, right? Do you say, do you lean even further into it and spend as much as you can to get one of the best remaining? Or do you double down on the other side of the flag and maybe because of the dirt or the excess of quality offense, you get a you get maybe two top two top ten offenders for for relatively cheap, right? Maybe you get them for your for your hundred T C and now maybe you have the best offense in the league, right? Um, I don't know that it's worth doing that, but once again, once you get past a certain point in these defense options, it's really not worth to spend bid there. So would you rather just try to have the best offense in the league at that point? And I think that's what is going to ha end up happening. Um, just the nom orders are going to play a big part in that. Uh, and then obviously 14 captains who know what they'll do. So, anyway... Like I said, I've got to prep for Egg Ball. 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, looks like a battle for the one seed. Last match day of the regular season. OTI Egg Ball. So, if you want to tune into that. Or go to Big Bad's tryouts. Uh, do that. I'm going to end the stream here. I'll post the rankings in MLTB content. I'll post a video once it's finished rendering. All that. Um, and drafts on Monday, guys. So... Looking forward to it. Looking forward to playing with you and against you this season. Uh, see you in 15 minutes.